for many years had passed since then. Still a friendless bachelor, still spending all my time on math, photography, and writing in a gloomy attic. Every single night, the dazzling smile of that little girl came to my mind. I'd already grown old. I only wanted to see Alice one last time before I died. I hoped, and right away my hope was answered. A letter arrived for me, an invitation to a Christmas party. Sender, Alice Slidell. I trembled with joy. How many years has it been? I wonder how Alice is doing. Will she let me take a picture of her again? On the appointed day, I headed to the venue, looking just as I had been on the day we parted. Ignoring all the others, I was only looking for Alice. And yet, I couldn't see the little girl anywhere. The hoarse voice of an old woman called my name. In the end, I turned to face her. Wrinkly skin colored by protruding blood vessels. Bony arms, discolored hair. Ah, I get it. I'm such a fool. Deep in my heart, I already knew it, didn't I? The little girl wouldn't remain so forever, unable to think straight. I rushed out of the party. The hollering of a downpour ridiculed me as I ran. She had married. She had lived a rich life. My dreams drained, broke, and vanished. My heart. There was nothing left of it. A barrel of old photographs and a single copy of a fairy tale greeted my dripping form back home. In them, even now, Alice was still a little girl, pestering me for stories. Time is a cruel mistress. I want to go back to those days. If there is a god, please hear my wish.